Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the automation campaign where in today's episode we are going to facelift two of our vehicles, the Fromot and the Utforska, mainly because they're very out of date. <laughs> we need, we, they, they desperately need a facelift, so that's exactly what we're going to do, is we're going to bring them, modernise them, and then we might even end up making a new Utforska, just completely new one instead of facelifting, because that would be the third generation of that Utforska if I'm not mistaken, yeah. So yeah, let's have a look at what we can do. First we're going to facelift the promote, and then we'll see after what we do with the Utforska. And so as for this vehicle, basically what we are going to do is we are going to see what we can modernise on it. We can put advanced, advanced engine, uh, safety in it, but we're going to do advanced 90 safety. I think that'll do just fine the way it is. Now, honestly, I don't know how much we can realistically do to this vehicle. Because a lot of the stuff that we wanted on this vehicle has already is already on it. This is the base model, so it'll have a 5-speed transmission, which is perfectly fine. And, yeah, I mean, what we could theoretically do is put an LSD in it, but it's the base model, so I don't think I'm going to do that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase the quality a, li a little bit on some of this uh, some of this stuff here. We're going to do yeah a little bit of quality here and yeah a little bit of quality here. Generally, just trying to make it a little bit better than the previous generation. Now the engine we have in it is already the most uh, is our latest engine, so that is fine. So yeah, I think the best way to go forward is to immediately hop into designing this vehicle because. I can't really think of many ways to improve this. I mean, like mechanically, we've already got the latest engine in there. The mechanicals of the actual car are pretty, pretty good actually. And yeah, I mean, what we could do is we could just make the rear brakes a teeny bit, no, uh, the front brakes a teeny bit bigger. And that way, yeah, you can't get much better than that. So let's design the car. <laughs> And this is the final design that I came up with. It's just a quick, simple little refresh, but I think it looks pretty good. I like the way the new grill has come out. I like the new headlights. I love the new little sort of intake at the bottom we have got going here. And I have forgotten one thing, which I'm just going to quickly do now. But yeah, all in all, I think this is a brilliant little refresh, which I absolutely love. So yeah, this is exactly what we're going to use. And don't you worry, we do have a turbo variant, and I love the paint on this car. I love the way this car looks with the wing on the rear, and just, in general, the whole design. I absolutely love this car, it looks so good. Oh man, I wish I could have one of these cars in real life, they look so cool. But yeah, let's put the cars up for sale and figure out what we're going to do now. And so, essentially, I want to try and target a... I want to say 18 months. Actually, let's target a 22 month uh, engineering time. That means it'll be released for the year of 2003, if I'm not mistaken. And we can then focus on making the next generation of this car with the next generation engine and blah, blah, blah. So let's optimize the process a little bit so it's a little bit cheaper for us. Let's learn a little bit from the car. And we are getting quite close to. 18 month period there you go pretty much 18 months now as for the factory we're gonna to have to retool the factory and everything but i think this is going to turn out 
it to be a really, really good car. Now, not only from the design, but I love the mechanicals of this car. And my god. <laughs> okay, something hasn't doesn't add up here with this car, but it is what it is. So, yeah, lots of money we could theoretically make for this car, so let's complete the design on this factory. And yeah, let's have a look at how much money we could theoretically earn from this car. And I'm already seeing a lot of green here, and it's, I'm just waiting for the numbers, and it is amazing! Look at that, it's just, just lots and lots of plus numbers and everything. This car is going to be a huge seller for us. So let's make the base model 15,000. The advantage model will make it 16,000. And for the turbo, I mean, it's already at 20,000, so let's keep it at 20,000. And yeah, we should be seeing lots of lovely juicy profit, which I'm really looking forward to seeing here. And 12 billion after 10 years. I mean, like I said, I won't be keeping this car for 12 billion years. Uh, for 12 billion years for 10, <laughs> for 10 years. Um, yeah, we'll be keeping it up for about four to, three to four years. Uh, after which we'll make at most about 5 billion credits, which is absolutely crazy. So, yeah, let's sign off on this. The engine factory will be overworked, but this is one of the last vehicles that will be using that 2 litre engine. So, 317 million for a projected amount. That will be fine. Let's sign off on that. And we should be in with. We should be making some good profit out of this car. So, yeah. Let's focus on getting the Udforska either facelifted or completely updated onto a new platform. And yeah, let's see what it can do. So I think we're going to have to facelift this vehicle. I couldn't really find any good bodies that I liked for a next generation Udforska. So we're just going to stick with this one, which isn't actually a bad thing. I do really like the design of this body, so we will just use it again. So. Let's have a look at what we could theoretically do. We already have, this is the turbo model, so this is the high-end model. And, I mean, we could make the tires a little wider. Stuff like that, just trying to make sure it's uh, as good as it can be. Let's put a six-speed in for the turbo. And, yeah, generally just try to make this the best vehicle we, we, we can. So... Yeah, I mean, I'm to be fair, I'm pretty happy with the way that the platform of this vehicle already is. So what we're going to do is we're going to immediately go into the design of this vehicle. So, yeah. <laughs> And this is the design that ended up being a result of it all and honestly I think it looks interesting. It's not, I'm not saying it looks good, I'm not saying it looks bad, but I'm saying it looks interesting because it is following our new design language of this almost uh, sort of uh, trapezoidal shape, the sort of... I've forgotten the name of it now. But <laughs> you, know the sh you know which shape I'm talking about, but um, yeah, essentially this is what the design of this car is looking like. I am not sure what I'm saying here, I'm just sort of talking. Let's actually get to selling these cars. And don't worry, we do have the, what do you call it, the pickup variant as well, which I think looks amazing. I have had to change the design quite substantially from the SUV variant, namely moving the headlights down a bunch because this body's a lot lower than the SUV variant, so it's a, it's, it's quite an interesting task getting all that to work, but I've managed to in the end, I think, and I think it looks really good in the in the white especially. I think this looks amazing, so yeah, let's put these cars up for sale, and yeah, let's see what we can do with them. And so the same goes for this car. We're going to try and release, uh, try and target a 2000, actually let's do a two, yeah, 2003 model release here. So let's increase reliability to 90. I think 90 is enough from reliability. Um, yeah, 
So let's increase the optimization, increase the automate, autom I can't say that. Automation, that's it. <laughs> Literally the name of the game. So, let's... The engine, we don't need to touch that. Um, we do need to change the factory up a little bit. But this shouldn't be too much of an issue. I feel like this is going to be very cheap refresh. So let's actually make... Uh, no, we're going to keep a large one. We're already producing 12,000 units. So that is definitely enough. So let's sign off on this factory. And let's have a look at how much this car should be making us. And I'm hoping to make a profit with this vehicle. I mean, of course, we will be making a profit with this vehicle. But if it's struggling to make a profit, then... It's, I'm gonna have to rethink it, but honestly, it's a stable profit margin, uh, constant throughout its entire life cycle, really. So, yeah, I'm not too upset with this. This is actually alright. So, this is the turbo variant, so this will be 17,000, 15,000, and we'll do this at 14,000. Let's let's stick it, let's stick them both. Eh, let's do that. That, that. that seems like a good way to be right here. And yeah, I think we are just going to facelift this because honestly, having a look at the profits we're making, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't. So let's complete the design of this vehicle. And yeah, in total we've spent about 500 million in this entire refreshing of both cars. And I'm very happy with the outcome. So I don't think there's a point to doing a BMG this episode because it is genuinely two of almost the exact same cars. But Next episode, we'll do something very interesting. So, I'm going to end the episode there. I know it's sad not to have BMG, but honestly, I don't see much of a point. It's just the same vehicles as we made uh, a few episodes ago. So, once we make a more interesting vehicle, we'll take them into BMG Drive. But yeah, it has been an absolute pleasure making this episode for you once again. Next episode, we will fast forward time a little bit. We'll have a look at the how the company's doing. Fast forward to about 2003. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and yeah, bye bye.